Hey guys, in this video, let's discuss Azure Cache for Redis. So this is a distributed in memory cache. So guys, we will actually understand what is this distributed in memory cache with simple explanation. And then we will discuss the features of Azure Cache for Redis. And these are, it is secure, it provides scalability, it is highly available, and it is fully managed by Azure. And finally, we will discuss when we should use Azure Cache for Redis. So again guys, we discussed this example in our previous video, but we need to repeat it to understand what is distributed Redis Cache. So again, if you see this screen, we have this application and in this application, one of the web pages displays the list of our application administrators. So of course, we fetch this list of admins from the database. But again, such database calls, they are expensive. So instead of fetching this data from database every time, what we should do is, we should fetch such data only once. And then we should store it in cache. So next time onwards, when this data is requested, instead of fetching it from the database, we should simply fetch it from the cache. That's it. Great. But guys, what is this distributed in memory cache, right? So when we use Redis cache, then the data is saved in distributed servers, as you can see in this screen. So again, you can see there are multiple servers. That is, these are distributed servers. And the data is stored in in-memory database of these servers. That is in RAM of these servers. And guys, as you know, the data retrieval from RAM, that is data retrieval from in-memory database of a server is always faster. So two things, we have distributed servers, which obviously provide the better performance and high availability. And then data is stored in in-memory database. That means data retrieval, that is performance is great. And now let's discuss the features of Azure Cache for Redis. So obviously it provides the high performance. Then it is secure. See guys, when we are using Azure Cache for Redis, we can connect to this Azure Cache for Redis using key. That is in simple words, connection string. Or we can also connect using Azure AD authentication. That is Microsoft Intra authentication. So guys, Microsoft recommends that in order to connect to this Azure Cache for Redis, we should use Microsoft Intra Authentication instead of connection string. Again guys, if you are not getting what is this Microsoft Intra Authentication or why connecting to Redis using Microsoft Intra Authentication is better than using connection string or key, that's okay. Anyway, we will discuss it in detail in our upcoming videos. But basically, Azure Cache for Redis is secure. Then second, it is highly scalable. So let's say guys, we are using Azure Cache for Redis in our application. And over the period of time, we come to know that now we need greater capacity for Redis. That is the existing Azure Cache for Redis. Probably it has smaller, probably it has smaller capacity and it is not fulfilling our requirement. So in that case, we can scale up Azure Cache for Redis on the fly. We can scale up it right from Azure portal. For example, if you can see the screen, we can simply go to our Redis Cache and we can click on this scale. And right from here, we can scale up our Redis Cache on the fly. That is on a single mouse click. then it is highly available. So basically, Azure provides geo replication feature. And finally, it is fully managed by Azure. Okay. And guys, now let's quickly discuss when we should use Azure Cache for Redis. So again, guys, we already discussed this in our previous video. 
but again let's have a quick recap so so we should use azure cache for redis for data which is accessed frequently but such data it should not be changing frequently so again guys if we have a data which changes frequently then there is no point in storing and retrieving that data from cache because obviously that will be old data and it will be incorrect data and guys this is the most important point that is we should not use azure cache for redis for time sensitive data for example stocks prices because stocks prices they keep changing every second now guys there are additional scenarios as well where we can use azure cache for redis so for example session store so as of now let's keep it simple and let's not discuss session store here but we will cover session store in detail in our upcoming videos so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening